Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving genetics. In this video, some of the most important vocabulary involving genetics and Punnett squares will be discussed. The picture on this slide shows different alleles, different genotypes, different phenotypes, all terms that will be described during this video. This video is only focused on this vocabulary as learning how to complete Punnett squares while learning a dozen new vocabulary terms can be a little bit difficult to handle. All humans on Earth contain melanocytes, skin cells that produce melanin. All humans have the same genes that are responsible for this skin color, but not all humans have the same skin color. The explanation for this is that there are different forms of genes called alleles. One individual may have a form of a gene that causes light skin coloration, and a second individual might have a different form of that same gene, a different allele, that provides them with a much darker skin. Sometimes, one of these alleles can cover up or mask a second form of the gene. The allele that covers up or masks the other is referred to as a dominant allele, and they are represented in Punnett squares by capital letters. Those that are covered up or masked are referred to as recessive alleles. Recessive alleles are shown in Punnett squares, and on this slide, as lowercase letters. There are two common ways that you can describe an organism throughout this unit in genetics. First, you can describe the genetic makeup of that organism. The genotype of an organism is a two-letter representation of the alleles that an organism possesses. In the picture to the right, the three possible genotypes listed are capital A, capital A, capital A, lowercase a, and lowercase a, lowercase a. You can also refer to an organism based upon its physical attributes. The different phenotypes that this image depicts are dark coloration and light coloration. In this example, dark coloration is dominant to light coloration, as all individuals that contain a capital A are dark in color. It covers up or masks the white characteristic. An organism can be described in other ways based upon the alleles that it possesses. If an organism has two of the same allele, it can be called homozygous. The prefix homo means same. Homogeneous mixtures contain the same prefix, which in this case means consistent or the same in appearance throughout. Organisms that are homozygous for a trait are sometimes referred to as pure breeding for that characteristic. Individuals that are heterozygous have two different forms of a gene. The prefix hetero means other or different. Individuals that are heterosexual, for example, are attracted to individuals of a different sex. Heterozygous individuals can be called by a few different names. Sometimes they are referred to as hybrids. Alternatively, they can be referred to as carriers, because while they don't have a particular recessive trait, they are able to pass it on to others. The image on this slide shows a pair of homologous or similarly structured chromosomes. Since they are homologous, they contain the same genes. This illustration shows three genes using the letters P, A, and B. This individual is homozygous for traits P and A, as they are both in the same form, either both uppercase or both lowercase. This individual would be heterozygous for trait B, as there is one upper and one lowercase allele. That is the end of this video on Punnett Square Vocabulary. If you are interested in learning about any other genetics topics or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.